In this video, we'll continue working with files. Uh, we've been always working so far with um, where the file name was actually part of the code. So now we're going to just change it real quick and show you how to get input from the user as for the file name. So we need another variable. We'll just call file name for now. And we're going to change this that we're going to open that variable file name. Alright, so the only missing piece then is to get the input. Alright, prompt the user of course. Uh, wrong way there. Alright. Right. Enter file name to open. And we just simply input the file name. And it works that simple. Alright. We can compile that. Uh, the user can enter. We work with strings here, so we got a file. Uh, once they type in, they can type in a whole path. They can just type in the file name. If they just type the file name, and the program again will only look in the local directory. But at this point, when you're entering it, it's as if you're in DOS Windows. Right? Text files slash name. No names. Txt. And there you go, it opens the files, displays the name just like it did when the file was hard coded. Again, if you just the user just types in the file name, the program immediately looks in the same working directory as the program itself. So short video showing you how to just how simple it is to add input from the user to do the file name.